Right, so Sunday afternoon, 11th of December, and it's absolutely freezing outside. It's probably about minus two, and for some reason I've chosen to come up here and tinker around with this cold metal. I've got my engine crane ready to go. Uh, so all I've got to do is undo these two bolts, well one there, one there, and then there's some bolts on the engine as well. And then I'm going to lift the engine out of that lorry chassis. Uh, that lorry chassis is going to get scrapped. And we're going to get it lined up in the Land Rover chassis, because Doug's coming here on Monday morning to shop blast that. And then I'll do a, a few more bits of welding on it, and then it can go away for galvanising. So that's the plan. I've got these ones. These bolts are the engine. Can you see that now? That's going to bolt to the engine and fit onto that engine mount there. Right, I'm going to stand here with my hands in my pockets for two minutes to warm my fingers up, and then I'll get on with some work. So we got the engine out eventually. It was a bit of a fiddle. It doesn't look so big now. It looks a lot more sensible size engine than what I did when it was in that lorry chassis. So we've got to unbolt these engine mounts here and hopefully the ones that that Reese has sent me will bolt straight on there. Um, yeah, the uh, other thing I've got to do is turn the sump around at some point because otherwise the sump, I've got Basically this bit needs to be at that end, otherwise the sump will hit the front axle on the Land Rover. And I've got, also Reese has sent me this oil pickup pipe, uh, so that it picks up in the back, something like that. <laughs> Well, it turns out this plate that is going to be the engine mount doesn't go there. It actually goes uh, there, but the other way up, I think. Oh, that maybe? No, nope. I was the right way. Had it the right way first time. Needs to bolt that on there. I'll take the starter motor off. That needs to come off. And I'll take this fan off too. I've had quite a productive afternoon. Uh, as you can see, I've got the engine mounts bolted on, got them welded up and bolted on. Took the manifold and turbo off. Slightly worrying, there's a bit of a crack in there where that bit of the manifold bolts on there. But we can probably try and weld that up. I don't know why it would have cracked, just vibration, I guess. Um, yeah, I've got the engine mount on this side too. So yeah, I before I can put the transfer box on, I've got to take the transfer box to pieces. So that'll be the next job, I should think, and put different gears in it. So yeah, I'm tempted just to bring it over to the chassis and put it on there, just just because I may as well as we're here before I take the chassis outside because that's getting shot blasted tomorrow. I also need to see about getting some better lighting in there, get some str LED strip lights would be good. <coughs> so the next piece of video what you're supposed to be watching right now I accidentally deleted so I'll ex quickly explain what it was 
and then we'll get on to the next section. Um, so basically, I had the transfer box in pieces on the bench because I had to put this new input shaft in to the transfer box and put these higher ratio gears in so it would give us a faster road speed. Again, I got these from Reese on Facebook. They come as part of the kit. So, yeah, I, I've got a time lapse of putting the transfer box back together, so I'll put that on next. And then I will, shall show you me fit in the transfer box and adapt to play onto that gearbox. So I had to chop this little piece of aluminium off there, otherwise the transfer box was hitting up against it. So I chopped that off. Now we can put the adapter plate on. It goes in there like that. So we can get a bolt in there. That's good. Give them a quick torque up, nice and tight. All right, now we can put the transfer box onto the shaft. Bloody heavy. Come on. He's on. Easy as that. Bolt started. This selector shaft here for the diff lock needs modifying. I need to cut that off and weld it back on the other way around because it just hits that plate at the moment. So that just needs a bit of modifying, which is easy enough to do. I've got a plate bolted on here for, well, it's still loose, but I just need to tighten up the bolts for gearbox mount, which goes onto the chassis. Same on this side as well. So I just need to put a couple of bolts in there. The other thing I forgot to mention is I've got some new lights. Got a light over the bench and, and a light here. Just LED strip lights. So I'm going to get the engine and gearbox lined up in the chassis. Uh, the first time I tried this, it didn't work because the engine mounts in the chassis were in the wrong place. So I've, I've cut them out, I've bolted them on here, so we're going to get it all lined up and then I'm going to tack the engine mounts into the chassis. I think I've just got to cut these bits out. I'm pretty sure they must be from the old uh, gearbox mounts. I'm just going to cut them out because that's where the the new gearbox mounts have got a bolt onto or be welded onto.
All right, this is what it looks like in the chassis. I've marked where I've got to weld all the mounts in and stuff. That's got a, that's um, actually sat on the block right now. Um, so it, when I marked it, it was a bit further down. So yeah, I'm gonna lift it out, get all the get the mounts welded in, weld up that hole, and then it can go off uh, and a couple more holes as well. And then it can go off for the chassis and go to be galvanized.